one thing that I love about this Dualis earbuds again is the fact that they are completely water resistant. So you don't have to worry about rain. You don't have to worry about sweat. You don't have to worry about anything like that. You can just use this Dualis earbuds and liquids and water and the elements like that are not going to be a problem. The God of gods. Okay, so what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something really, really interesting, and that is the Mifo 09 True Wireless Earbuds. Now, these earbuds look fantastic as you can see, so let's actually find out if they're worth your money and if they actually sound like they look. The first thing to actually talk about is going to have to be the Mifo 07, which is the last True Wireless Earbuds that Mifo released before this one. Now, in all of 2020, the Mifo 07 was my True Wireless Earbud, of the year it was the best true wireless earbuds that was released that year and i absolutely loved using that device i mean everything about the mifo 07 was perfect to me the design the fit the comfort the quality of the build the case the gunmetal everything was just absolutely perfect but for all the great things that that true wireless earbud had going for it it had one very obvious major flaw uh, there was no noise cancelling so as nice as the earbuds sound if you got in a place where there was like a lot of noise and rumble and stuff that would tend to filter into the audio and it would give you a bad experience so i suppose mifo went back to the drawing board and created something different the mifo 09 another thing that the mifo 07 had for it that wasn't really great was the price it was 150 dollars which is not exactly affordable. I mean, you could get it on sale for around $125, but eh, that wasn't really much better than 150, honestly. It was still pretty pricey. So the first thing that you're going to notice with this True Wireless Airbots is how beautiful it looks, but does it actually sound as good as it looks? Well, we're gonna find out in this video. But let's actually rewind and start from the beginning and actually talk about the unboxing experience for this device. It comes in this really large, fairly large box, uh if you know mifo you know that they're very used to making this packaging decisions that basically separate everything make it look larger than it needs to be and while it looks nice it just seems like a really really poor use of space like the care buds are sitting separately and then they have an entire huge box that entirely contains just the charging cable and then another box for like a small pamphlet paperwork that tells you everything you need to know about the controls of the hair buds and then inside of that you also get like extra hair tips and this is one part that i think they really did well they give you seven different sizes of extra hair tips which is not something i've seen with any other true wireless hair buds so this gives you a lot of options for sizes and you don't have to worry too much about whether these hair buds are going to fit or not except you have some really really weird hairs they're going to have hair tip sizes that are actually going to fit you Moving away from the unboxing, let's talk about the design of the True Wireless Earbuds. The case themselves look fantastic. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they actually included this lanyard inside of the box that you can use to actually hold the True Wireless Earbuds case. If you don't like it, don't use it. But personally, I think it looks cool and I like to use it because it helps me hold the True Wireless Earbuds better. Now, the design generally of the entire thing is like a really, really nice pebble. It has this matte plastic finish to it. so looks wise it looks fantastic and when you actually open up the case the airbus themselves look really good now mifo has this design philosophy pretty much where all the airbuds pretty much look alike this looks almost exactly like the mifo 05 the mifo 07 was slightly slimmer slightly smaller but the design language is pretty much the exact same thing it's essentially similar now design wise i'll give this a solid 10 over 10 also plus the fact that they actually were smart enough to use the metal on the back of the true wireless earbuds where the touch controls are so you don't have to worry about actually staining the color of the true wireless earbuds over time and you know the rest of the true wireless earbuds are glossy white so that too is not going to lose its color or fade off after a while that's like really really smart i think as for looks and design this is a 10 over 10. Moving away from the design let's actually talk about the sound quality and this is where this true wireless earbuds actually really shine Especially if you're somebody who likes bass, these true wireless earbuds are very bassy. They sound fantastic. Now, I am very used to having APTX on Mifo earbuds because, you know, they just 
sound better that way and you don't experience much lag especially with like youtube and stuff but this particular ones did not come with aptx so there are going to be times when you're going to experience some lag in like playback when you're watching videos and stuff but in my experience when you basically just disconnect and then reconnect them that basically goes away so they sound fine and there's very minimal to no lag when you're consuming video content now as far as the actual quality of the sound like i said they're very bass heavy but the true wireless earbuds do a good job of actually recognizing where every instrument should be without getting muddy you know the low mids are not too crowded and it doesn't sound too much like everything is just happening at once it's very full it's very rich and it sounds really really good now away from that let's actually talk about the microphone for this true wireless earbuds and i believe the true wireless earbuds i connected over here so now i'm basically just going to record a voice note so that you can hear what this true wireless earbuds sound like uh, when you're trying to make a phone call and stuff uh, unfortunately it's really quiet here because it's actually 3 30 a.m so you know there's no noise but this is what the true wireless earbuds are going to sound like when the microphones are focusing in on your voice and you're trying to make phone calls or have a conversation with somebody and stuff now moving away from that another quality feature of this true wireless earbuds is going to have to be the noise cancelling but beyond the actual noise cancelling which actually works fantastic by the way the true wireless earbuds has transparency mode which basically lets you have a conversation with somebody who is around you or listen to what's going on around you without actually having to take off the earbud now one thing that i ate and i actually mean ate with this true wireless earbuds is going to have to be controls it lacks physical controls. Now, yes, I get it. If you're listening to music with your true wireless earbuds, you're more likely to want to just play and pause. And if you want to change songs or pick a completely different song, you probably want to pull out your phone or your device or whatever, and then change that. But in my case, there are times when I have an actual playlist playing and I just don't feel like listening to a particular song at a particular time. So I want to like double tap or triple tap or whatever to skip to the next track. And this option is completely gone now. You don't have the option to skip track, rewind tracks, or anything like that. Another option that you completely lose is volume controls. For me, this is unforgivable. You can't take away the track controls and then also take away volume controls from true wireless earbuds. The only thing you're giving me is play pause and voice assistant. Now, I get it. You can use your voice assistant to change your track. You can use your voice assistant to increase or reduce the volume of your music or media consumption. But again, that's just extra stress for people like me who don't actually use Siri or Google Assistant or anything like that. So it's a problem. And I really, really wish that Mifo did not go this route and completely get rid of this. It would have been nice to actually have this on my true wireless earbuds so that I can actually enjoy the experience and have a full experience when using this true wireless earbuds. Now, speaking of the charging case for this true wireless earbuds, uh, I was getting around 21 to 22 hours uh, for this true wireless earbuds. I don't actually know what Mifo promised with the true wireless earbuds but my average was around 21 to 22 hours with the charging case and the true wireless earbuds themselves lasted for around six hours or just a little under so six hours for the true wireless earbuds themselves in my use case and around 22 hours with the charging case which is great so you get to charge it almost four times over the charging case actually charges wirelessly so you can just drop this on a cheap wireless charger when you walk into your house and completely forget about it and it's charged up you don't have to constantly look for you USB-C cable or port to charge this device and I think that is fantastic. Now moving away from the battery life talk, let's actually talk about this true wireless earbuds themselves and what I feel about them, my complete verdict about this earbuds. Design wise this is a 10 over 10. Price wise I think it's really smart that they decided to go down half price from last year's Mifo 07 and basically half the price and sell this for around $80 right now or $70 if you have Amazon Prime. And I think that's really thoughtful of them. I do worry though that this new plastic design might not be as, well, not might, it would definitely not be as durable as the Mifo 07, which was fully metal and it actually did a fantastic job, especially with durability. That true wireless earbud could fall a bunch of times and you'd be absolutely fine. But one thing that I love about this true wireless earbuds again is the fact that they are completely water resistant. So. You don't have to worry about rain, you don't have to worry about sweat, you don't have to worry about anything like that. You can just use this true wireless earbuds and liquids and water and the elements like that are not going to be your problem. In fact, I think that's a master feature. This true wireless earbuds are truly fantastic and if you're somebody who actually enjoyed using the Mifo 07 but you kind of have a problem with the fact that it lacks uh, 
any sort of noise cancelling or transparency mode or anything like that, this would be perfect for you. Just keep in mind the fact that durability is what you're going to be giving up for the price and the new features that this True Wireless Airbuds actually has. Anyways, that was pretty much all my thoughts about the Mi 409. This True Wireless Airbuds are truly fantastic. I would buy them over again. They're truly, truly, truly amazing. And you know, if you're somebody who actually enjoyed the Mi 407 from last year and you had a problem with the stuff that he lacked like the wireless charging and uh you know the noise cancelling and the transparency mode and stuff like that and you wanted something cheaper this would be perfect to buy i would absolutely recommend this just keep in mind that you completely lose your volume controls and your track controls thank you so much for watching and i guess i will see you on another video that was shot by kagan peace the kind of